If you were making parts for the medical industry that look like this, what CAD CAM would you use? So Gerard, we're here at Smith's Town Light Engineering, but before we get into the company, can you give us a bit of a background on yourself and how long you've been here? Okay, so I've been here now nearly approaching three years. I'm in the role of CEO and I support the principal director of the business, Gerard King, in the running of the operation. So that's your role, but what is Smithstown Light Engineering? What do you guys do here? Yeah. So Smithstown uh, started in 1974, so we're 50 years in existence. Our principal area of, of, of expertise is precision machining, quality, and then customer service. And by customer, we really pride ourselves in supporting the customer in, in all their difficulties and in all their successes. Now obviously to deal with high customer demand and some of the amazing looking parts you guys do, why did you go with Hypermill as a CAD CAM system? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a very good question because there's so many different uh, options out in the marketplace that Open Mind made it much easier for us to actually really work forward with Hypermill the explanation of the facets, the features, how we could optimize our machining, cutting paths, everything. And that really worked in our favor. So it was really the relationship with Open Mind and Hypermill coming together and being in partnership with us. And talking about that relationship with Open Mind, obviously when you joined, trying to get staff at the moment is yeah. quite hard, we all know that. Mm. So you decided to upskill everyone. Yeah. So how did that conversation go with Open Mind? Yeah. Very enthusiastic, really came in behind us. Um, they understood what we were trying to achieve and uh, it was, it's been a positive relationship all the way through. We'd really recommend Open Mind to any uh, companies out there who are interested in upskilling their internal force. It's really positive. So what sort of parts, and I know we can't go into too much detail, and industries do you guys work at here? Yeah, so we operate in the medical space. We support uh, the orthopedic and medical device companies in Ireland and also globally. Um, we do instrumentation as well for procedures. So it's very much a medical focused uh, enterprise here. And obviously we're studying building one, but you actually have two buildings and yeah. you have quite a lot of members of staff here. Yeah, yeah. So we have over 200 employees on the site. Um, we have two sites here in Shannon. The second site is just literally one kilometer down the road. So you find us trekking up and down quite a bit. But you see the same technologies and the same approach in both buildings. And then also we have a third facility in Jeshov in Poland. Um, and that's a business now that's been operating three going on four years. And we just announced recently a major expansion there. And I just want to, uh, just before we finish this interview, obviously you talk about all your main focus is your customer's happiness. That's, that's all you guys here are trying to do. Yeah. And I just want to bring it back slightly to, to Open Mind and Hypermill because have you noticed since using that, that you have happier customers with the parts you're making, obviously the finishes you get? Is, is that all coming together with the forward thinking company? You're not, you guys are not worried about spending money obviously with the yeah. citizen powerhouse. So is it become a big circle of keeping your customers happy? Yeah, well what we find is that in any um, process development, you're going through an iterative process. So you're optimizing the machine and cutting pads, you're checking dimensions, back to the machine, back to the virtual um, CAD station, and bringing all that together. So I think the fact that Open Mind have supported us so much, we have the Hypermill uh, base, that the upskilling is well in parallel, that we're actually bringing all the strands together to be a success. And by success, I really mean deliver parts to spec earlier, because that's what everyone wants. They want parts in their hands and having that collaboration of everyone allows us to achieve that.